Hi, my name is Ruth Kegengal and I'm a musician, teacher and Manx speaker from the Isle of Man. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sing the traditional Manx Gaelic song, Duan a Jagged Kia, which means John of the grey, darkish grey jacket. It was collected at the end of the 19th century. The words were collected by A.W. Moore and the song, the actual melody, was collected by W.H. Gill. It tells the story of somebody who was shot by a bullet and it made a hole in him like a sieve. Doesn't sound very nice. I'm going to sing it first and then I'll go through the words with you and then put the words and the melody bit by bit together. It's a deceptively difficult song to sing, so if you watch to the end of the video, I'll give you some tips as to how you can achieve a really, really good rendition of the song. Lake a bullet, fine sheer as wall, a duna jagged keer, Renny howl a goldish creer as duna quirk for Kenya, duna quirk for Kenya, duna quirk for Kenya, Renny howl a goldish creer as duna quirk for Kenya. Let's go through the lyrics now. The first line goes Ligan bullet, vine sheer which means a bullet came from the west. Ligan bullet vian sheer. The second line tells us that Dewan of the grey jacket was hit by this bullet. As warle Dewan a jagged kia. You may not be familiar with the name Dewan. It's the Manx translation of John and it's spelt J-U-A-N. It actually looks a little bit like the Spanish name Juan but it's not. As wool I do in a jagged keer. So those two lines together go, Lig a bullet vi and sheer, as wool I do in a jagged keer. We then hear in the third line that the bullet pierced him like a sieve, which doesn't sound too pleasant. Rene howler, gulrish creer. Rene howler, gulrish creer. And the fourth line, as Duana Quirk Vacania, and John Quirk was crying. Kenya is the word for crying. Quirk is a common Manx surname, as Duan a Quirk Vacania. So let's just try those four lines. Lig and bullet vian sheer, as wool a Duan a jagged keer. Ren a howler, gulrish creer, as duana quirk for Kenya. The second half of the song uses that last line a few times. Duana quirk for Kenya, duana quirk for Kenya. So we have that twice. And then we have the line Ren a howler, gulrish creer, and then again as duana quirk for Kenya. So there's a real emphasis on the John Quirk was crying line. So if you can remember that, that happens about five times in the whole song. So you're good if you know that line. Let's put it together right from the start of the lyrics and then try it with the tune. Lig a bullet vi and sheer as wool a duan a jagged keer. Ren a howler gulrish creer as duan a quirk vacania. Duan a quirk vacania. Duana quirk for Kenya, Renne howler gulrish creer as Duana quirk for Kenya. Didn't am I? Let's try putting the tune and the lyrics together now. So the first line goes like this. <clears throat> Liga bullet vian sheer. So it mostly goes in an up, upwards direction, ascending. Let's try that again. Lig a bullet vi and sheer. And the second line is tending to go downwards, it's tending to descend. As all a duna jagged keer. Sort of a mixture between the two. Let's try those two lines together. So the first line is lig a bullet. Lig a bullet vi and sheer as wool a duna jagged keer. Didn't am I? The next two lines go up in an arch and then back down again, ascending and then descending. Rene how the gulrish creer as duna quirk vacania. Let's 
just try those two lines again. Rene Howler. Rene Howler, Gorish Creras, Juna, Quirk, Vacania. Jinta Mai. The fifth and the sixth lines both ascend. Juna, Quirk, Vacania. And again. Juna quirk for Kenya. And the very last two lines of the song are a bit like what we've heard in the first part of the song. Rene howler garish creeras Juna quirk for Kenya. Let's put it all together now. Nemji's tree Lick a bullet, fire and shear as all a juna jagged keer. Rene howler, goldish creer as juna quirk for Kenya. Juna quirk for Kenya. Juna quirk for Kenya. Rene howler, goldish creer as juna quirk for Kenya. Them I. As I mentioned before, this song can be deceptively difficult to sing well, and there are a few reasons for this. Firstly, it's full of words. The song is syllabic, that means that there's one note per syllable throughout the whole song, and there are quite a few words. Many of the words are full of consonants as well, things like C's, K's and Q's. So it's really important to get your mouth open when you're singing those words and just basically get your teeth, tongue and lips around them. Juna quirk vacania, juna quirk vacania. Super important. If you happen to be teaching children and doing this song, this is a great one to focus on diction. Secondly, the song is full of the same rhythms. There are an awful lot of quavers throughout this song. Ligger, bullet, vayan, shiraz, wole, juna, jagged, kia. So, an awful lot of quavers going through. You must make sure not to sing it mechanically. How do we do this? Well, we're going to try and add some musical shape to the song. We're going to sing when we have a phrase that goes up and ascends and then maybe comes back down again. Think about where's your end point, where's your highest note? Maybe you could aim for that and try and shape the phrase. I'll just demonstrate using the lines Rene Howler, Gulrish Kriya as Juana Quirk Vakania. So my top note is Kriya, and then I'm going to come back down. So I'm going to go through that phrase. Rene Howler, Gulrish Kriya as Juana Quirk Vakania. So I just shaped it, just getting ever so slightly louder to the top and then just dropping off as I went back down. And it just stops it being too mechanical. If I sang it all at the same dynamic, that means volume, level, then it might sound like this. Rene howler gorish kriras juna quirk vacania. There's quite a marked difference. So just think about where you want to aim for and then drop back down. This is also really useful for the third thing to focus on, which is tuning. This song is largely scalic. That means it goes up and down one note at a time. So there are awful lots of scales in this. So try and aim for your top note, go up and then fall the way down to the bottom. Once you've mastered the lyrics of this song, thought about how to shape those musical phrases nice and musically and avoided any kind of mechanical approach to them and also thought really really hard about your pitching and made sure that you're really careful in those scalic passages going up and down. You might want to approach this song as a round as it works brilliantly as one. I love this song and I think it's great for children and adults alike as there are little challenges within it that appeal to both. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Salam out.